orthopaedics and knee, most knee problems are related to soft tissue injuries inside the knee, the menisci, the ACL, fractures around the knee and also OA of the knee. Here we have ACL evolution of the knee. Here's the ACL detached, a hollow intercontinental area in the knee, 20 year old. Here it is looking at you, posterior drift of the tibia of the lower femur, ACL injury. ACL reconstruction, good operation, patient's done well three months. Here's the tear of the ACL, and here's a huck step nail used for arthrodes knee. Usually a, a knee that's had an OA, went to knee replacement, got infected, failed, now it has to be fused to try to salvage the situation. Here's the operation being done, there's the implant that was removed. That's the implant that was removed. Arthroscopy of the knee, doing a lateral release with the scalpel blade. Baker cysts are common around the knee at the back. Deal with the meniscus and it'll decompress. An arthrogram shows the Baker cyst. If it ruptures, it can look like a DVT. So you do a Doppler to differentiate. Blunt's disease, B-L-O-U-N-T-S, tibia vera of the knee. See it in Africa. Prepatellabursitis, common around the knee, usually a lot smaller than this. Um, open and drain the, uh, the bursa in front of the knee, front of the patella tendon, over the tibial tubercle, can really help the patient a lot. Does not communicate with the knee joint. Tear of the gastroc on MRI. Chondrocalcinosis of the knee, so a form of a crystalline disease of the knee, is causing secondary OA. Tripartite patella, patella in three bits from birth. Doesn't really mean too much. Cyst of the knee at the back of the knee uh, or at the lateral joint line. Excisor cyst then deal with the pathology inside the knee. Popliteal cyst, look at the large cyst back of the knee. It's rheumatoid arthritis, as I said, may rupture and, and simulate a DVT. Semimembranosis bursa cyst here. D tiger country dissected, try to avoid if you can. Intraarticular fracture of the knee, rare. Dislocation of the knee, rare, but a calamity. Can be damaged to the popliteal artery, do an arthrogram. Fat legs, hard to assess with examination. Fracture of the patella, knee replacement. Fracture of the patella here. Fracture of the patella, internal fixation required. Internal fixation, tension band wire technique. Fracture of tibial spine, carrying the ACL, have to deal with it. Tibial spine a bolst, you have to put it back in position, hold it wires, knee brace on. Fractural proximal tibia in the region of the knee could can um, the well so-called plateau fracture may be associated with compartment syndrome, vascular injury. Plateau fractures are the real challenge to get them back, restore the anatomy, bone grafting, internal fixation. Plate, bone grafting, placing the bone graft, CTs are help for to evaluate. Fracture of the tibia, knee may be involved. So fracture, plateau fracture, involving the shaft and up into the joint, internal fixation, bone grafting. Technically difficult operations, bone grafting are often used. And you can get good surgical results, good flexion and extension of the knee. Superconda fracture of the femur, involving the knee, internal fixation required. Common use of the articular surfaces be prone to OA at an early stage. Fracture of tibial spine, elevation tibial tubercle. Now, pseudo gout crystals inside the knee, time of arthroscopy. Affection TB of the knee, uh, don't, don't forget about that, can be quite destructive. The joint may need a secondary uh, knee replacement when it's all settled down or is. Yes, yes, loose body of the knee, locking of the knee, you need to get those loose bodies out at time of arthroscopy, it can quite, be quite big. But very satisfying to remove this, a loose body. There it has been removed. Uni knee replacement, quite a good operation when the OA is limited to one part of the knee. Here's removing a loose body. A meniscal cyst, good on ultrasound, image well. There it is, over the lateral joint line. Excise cyst, do arthroscopy of the knee. Meniscal suture, or stitching meniscus when it's torn, is only useful in children, teenagers, where it's got a good blood supply. 
degenerative tear of the meniscus, best to resect a stable margin. Bucket handle tear of the meniscus, usually the medial resect a stable margin. There's suture in, only in children, as I mentioned. There's a tear of the post complex tear lateral meniscus, slow to rehabilitate after partial resection. Degenerative tear in a patient with an OA, then he can have degenerative tears of meniscus. And there's a degenerative tear away of the knee. That's the OA of the knee, loss of joint surface, osteophytes of the knee. Advanced OA involving both compartments of the knee. That sort of knee would require knee replacement. Here we are doing contraplasty, tidying things up, removing loose bodies. Here's the patella. Contrabulation patella, common in women. Uni knee replacement, good operation. OA valgus of the knee, see, valgus. Lateral compartment will be involved. Uni knee replacement. Advanced OA of a knee. Destruction would be quite a challenge for total knee replacement. Bilateral tibia vera. So called bow legs prone to OA of medial compartment. Genu valgus OA of the lateral compartment. Tibial osteotomy may be good in younger patients with OA because I'm too young to have a knee replacement. Tibial osteotomy using staples, good technique. Various forms of fixation, including a plate. Tibia valgus, obese person. OCD, osteochondritis, disacans of the femur. See a little lesion there, may come off, a little lesion there, separate, float around the joint called locking, often in children. Is a loose body being removed at the time of arthroscopy. Usually a typical position, just lateral aspect, medial femoral condyle. But there's one over the lateral femoral condyle, a little unusual. OCD, separated fragments floating off. Set up for hemi knee replacement is a bilateral plateau fracture internally fixed, doing well. Oshkut slatters. Oshkut slatters is where you get patellar pulling on its insertion, causing pain and swelling in that area, sometimes fragmentation by usually teenagers. Treat non operatively, swelling and pain in the region. Here, even in an adult. Padgett's with the OA of the knee. Got Padgett's features, OA of the knee. Large B patella bursa. Patella dislocation, easily reduced but assess the ligaments, be slow rehab from this. There's a fracture of the patella, or, or actually it's patella tendon abortion. It's gone, the patella's ruined up high, a little bony fragment come off, need to put this back on. Fracture bipartite, the patella needs to differentiate from a fracture. The presence of pain means a fracture. Maltrack of the patella, riding over the side, secondary OA, chondromalacia, common in young girls, women, difficult problem, arthroscopy, so called crab interference, slow rehab. Just the kind of patella, and here's a maltrack of the patella, riding it over the side. Hoffers syndrome, uh, fat pad swelling over the patella tendon. Large infant patella bursa, he excised in the bursa. Can be very painful, disabling. Good result from. Uh, Removing it. Maltracking patella. Maltracking patella looks up and out. Maltracking patella. And there it is at time of arthroscopy, riding over the side. Uh, patella fracture internally fixed. Patella tendon avulsion. Here it is. See? It's come off this area here. I need to put it back down. Patella tendon ruptured from there. There it has been put back together again. Patellectomy, uh, sometimes they can do well but usually not. That's it. End of part one. Please look out for part two.